and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful two days or Wednesday morning, folks. So uh, we're going to do something different, uh, uh, kind of like I'm trying to make some kind of tutorial video uh, at least a couple times a week, okay, a couple times a week regarding uh, probably the Pro or Express. I know a lot of you out there struggle with milk frothing, okay, milk frothing. So it is not easy. Yeah. The, the problem with all the videos out on YouTube or Instagram, uh, those tutorial videos, they're using okay, commercial copy machine, okay? commercial copy machine, which means, let me show you. So they're going to start their steam, starts right away. Okay? With, but machine like Pro or Express, I'm going to start it right now. Okay. Okay, so now I'm still waiting. Okay, I'm still waiting here. Now finally kicks in. So this is a pro. But if you have a Bravo Brista Express, guess what? You have to even wait even longer. So I mean those tutorial videos is great if you have a commercial uh, coffee machine at home, even like dual boiler and like they're powerful but i'm trying to make so today's video is for if you have like express or a pro at home uh so you might got you know so this is the videos for you guys okay uh basic okay so basic tutorial how much milk you need all depend on the kind of like size of your coffee okay if you are using hold on if you are using like cappuccino like six ounce cup you know you don't need much okay but if you want to go with like large cups, yes. Okay. So it's all depend on the size and also the depend on the milk picture as well. So this is, I believe, so this is 300 gram, the milk picture capacity. So you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys how I do it. Okay. So I think the best way to do that is I have my clay glass right here. You know, pretty much I add some water in it. So think of it as a, so this is milk. Okay, so this is milk. So let's see. Okay. Hold on, let me flip the camera around for a second. Okay, here we go. Now we have the nice view. Comes the steam one location. Okay, steam one location. I like to put the steam on just below the surface, okay? And you are going to make the hissing sound, all right? The scratching sound there, the paper, that kind of, uh, the ripping sound. <clears throat> About like five seconds. So you are going to, you are going to stretch the milk. Okay, so let me show you what they look like. Okay. <clears throat> I like to steam the, uh, start the steam first because I want to discharge that water coming out. I like to do it for a couple seconds, shut it down, put back in. At this point, you see the hissing sound? That's what you want. About five seconds. And after they submerge it below the surface, you see that we got the tornado going on? Circling around the circulation. So that's what we want. And you are going to, I mean, once you hit the, uh, touch the bottom, you are going to know it's going to be hot or not, okay? Uh, if you're not quite sure, uh, just get the, you know, thermometer. And they just, you know, find uh, what temperature is at. Uh, ideally, I mean, I don't like really, really hot latte anyway. Maybe about what, one, I think 130 to 140. Correct me, I'm wrong, guys. 130 or 140. So that's what I like, okay? But, so, uh, you know what, let's make some, the rear. So again, I'm gonna be using the clear cup for a live demo, all right? So let's make some coffee with it. Okay. Hopefully the mic method 
works. Oh, by the way, uh, guess what I got? Finally, it's arrived. Okay, so this is the 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 YouTube the play button. Okay, I finally got it last night. So uh, I think we are going to open that sometime today. Okay, uh, sometime today, definitely. All right, so let's make some coffee. Okay, I'm, uh, let's do 18 gram dose. Okay, I'm just gonna use my built-in grinder. I mean, just like your home, okay? I'm just gonna use my built-in grinder. I don't want to use the bottomless pore filter. Okay, Let, let's use the bottomless pore filter. And obviously I got my 3D dosing funnel here. Yeah, okay, hold on, let's go here. And then this morning I'm using uh, coffee. Uh, so this is coffee from, uh, I believe Good Brothers Coffee there. So the, uh, here's, this is their espresso blend. So really good for milk, okay? Or just plain black coffee. I'm just gonna do 18 grams. Uh, again, uh, if you are just joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. So this is my kitchen, right? So this is my kitchen here, so. I got, you know, not much to look at here. I got my machine. And what else I got? I got my uh, DF64, the E, the electric version. Well, I got 18 gram. Three D dosing phono. That's all I need at home. Yeah. Because uh, grinder setting. Let's talk about the next couple of days as well. Yeah. We're gonna talk about the grinder setting next few days. Okay, since I'm using the bottomless pore filter, I'm gonna be using my home, uh, homemade, the WDT tools. This is, this is just a homemade here. And then just, just give it a quick puck prep. Just do the quick puck prep. Let's do my distribution tool here. That's it. Uh, last but least, I do like to enjoy using the puck screen. All right, here we go. So let's make some quick coffee. Okay. Okay, so. I'm gonna show you what they look like on the milk frothing. I'm just gonna put some, hold on, a little bit of milk. Kind of like halfway, okay, not much. Yeah, and then you get to see it, okay? You get to see it. All right, folks. Hold on, let me flip the camera for it one more time. I'm doing the manual mode right now. Just hold it now for like a few seconds, just let go. The coffee looks pretty good. I'm just kind of like eyeballing right now. 21 second shot there. Yeah, that's a, lot, a beautiful crema. Okay, there we go. So here's the fun part. Okay, I'm gonna start with steam it for, I'm gonna purge first, okay. Stop and put back in. I'm gonna introduce the air, about five seconds. And submerge it, just like that. So now we are creating the micro bubble. You are going to expand the, the milk, stretching the milk in the beginning. And now we are warming up the milk right now. Okay, see? This is overflowing. 
There we go. You guys get the point. Okay, hold on a second. So, there was a bad idea, but you guys get the point there. I'm just going to transfer here. I'm just going to, so you want to be like mix, milky smooth. You see that? Kind of like a very nice micro bubble. Okay, so we're going to do some little bit of latte art. Something like that, okay. Not the best looking, but I hope you, go, you guys are going to get the, the point there. Because, what does that mean? I, I mean, as you saw on the, this clear glass, okay, the key is you gotta make sure it circulate. The circulation is the key. And the, do not over introduce the air, okay? Like you saw, so this is more like cappuccino, okay? It's kind of like the thicker milk than kind of like the latte. I mean, I, I prefer like, not the really, not the flat, okay? Not the flat white, but I want something creamy. Let, let's try this. Yeah, yeah, too much air inside. So it's not the ideal, but do not use your cup for frothing your milk, okay? You're gonna, overflown. Definitely use the milk, uh, milk jug there. So again, it'll depend on your uh, what kind of cup size you have. And they're just kind of like accordingly. Okay, so this six ounce cup, I like to put milk just below the uh, spout there. And if you are doing the like larger size, you know, just above. Okay, you should be fine. You know what, they like this. I'm just gonna add a little bit of caramel. Okay, let's see. Just a little bit of caramel. There you go. Let's try. Man, the best. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a big fan of caramel. Anyway, so let's see here. I'm gonna. Sh Man, we got some few people on our live chat this morning. All right, let's take a look who's on this morning. We got the, we got the Jonathan's on, we got a shout out to Joe. Okay, Joe from Espresso Outlet. Yeah. And then we got Jesse's on, we have our regular friends is on. Uh, so speaking of Joe, so Joe is responsible for the DF64, okay, or DF83. And I think I've been using it for a while. And I, I, I got, you know, I got a few things to say about it. So uh, maybe uh, sometime, uh, sometime next couple of days, let's talk about the, the things I like about DF and things I don't like about DF64 E and P, okay. And they're overall fantastic grinder, but I think it has some little flaws. A little bit of flaws there. Uh, back to puck screen. I know you guys see me. Hun, why you got? Why are you using puck screen? Okay. Because this, you're gonna have you know the dry puck, less messy. Make sure clean this off. Okay. Right. So filter out all the oil. So. See, I think we are pretty good this morning. And at uh, some point today. I'm going to be opening up the, the plaque. You know what? Sh shall we open it now? What do you guys think? Shall we open it? All right. Yeah, let's open it. Yeah. Let's open this. I'm very curious about myself as well. Yeah, let's open this. All right. So this is a YouTube plaque. Uh, once, okay, if you don't know what YouTube plaque is, once you, you hit the 100,000 subscriber, they send you this, okay, as kind of their appreciation for I reached that 100,000. I mean, again, I mean, kind of like, they're kind of like just the numbers, 
But I mean, it is fun, okay? It is fun that, you know, the YouTube, the recognize the people with, you know, that kind of numbers. So, there we go. You guys see it first. There we go. Wow, look at that, guys. Let's see here. Obviously, they send you this nice letter. Beautiful letter. Suzanne Witzke. Okay. Nice paper as well. Has a YouTube. Man, look at this. Hold on. I want to see how heavy this thing is. Okay, it's kind of like, you know, whenever you go to a war show. Yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, I think, I think I definitely, I, I cannot hang at my house for sure. I don't think my wife is gonna appreciate that. But definitely I'm gonna take this one to my coffee cave. Yeah. Yeah, and they say for passing 100,000 subscribers, YouTube. So this is called play button. Okay, so this is called play button. So it is a lot of fun. Yeah, anyway, thank you so much for, for supporting this channel for the, over the years. And the thing is, there's a lot of luck involved too. Okay, it's a lot of luck. I got lucky with, you know, a couple of videos went viral, so they heard me like push over the, the mark there, but yeah. But man, all thanks to this machine. Okay, bravo. I think that's the, some of the best, the home machine out there, so. The cleaning videos, guys, the clean me videos. Anyway, hold on a second here. Let's see here. I got some couple of questions. Is it? Let's see. I got shout out to all my friends there. Okay, Express. Let's see here. Tanzania. We got half from Tanzania. Dean asked me what video went viral. Uh, then uh, one of my short shorts went viral. Okay, it's called ridiculous espresso workflow. It's called ridiculous. It is ridiculous the workflow. All right. So it went viral. Uh, I post that video end of September. So they did really well on October. And and uh, yeah, they're still you know they're still chugging along, but yeah. So I got really lucky with that video. So man, I'm telling you these shorts. So ever since the YouTube doing the promoting shorts, kind of like the, the subscriber numbers kind of somewhat inflated. Okay, I mean, that's, for, that's the facts, okay? That's the fact. Because it's a, there's a two, two types of people views, okay, the YouTubes. Uh, people like us, kind of like long format, they enjoy the long format. A lot of younger people out there, they like to watch like 20 seconds at a time, right? 20 seconds, 30 seconds at a time. So, so they, are, they are a totally different group of people. I don't think they are, I mean, they like the, you know, the workflow, okay? They like the workflow, you know, they like the, you know, the look of it. And it's a completely different way to watching, you know, YouTube. So I got lucky with that video. Yeah, I uh, went viral. It only takes about one or two videos to zero subscriber, go up to 100,000 subscriber. Okay, but in, the, in between, just make sure you have some videos to, you know, engage with your, the subscriber so you don't lose it again. But it's been fun, guys. It's been fun for the last, what, it's been three years now? Yeah, it's been going on three years. Uh, it's been a big part of my life at the moment. All right. I know some of you are watching this channel in the beginning as well. I know some of you are new to the channel. You know, because 
you know, I, as you guys know, I'm not take my YouTube too seriously. I finally upgrade my phone. I mean, I don't even have proper equipment for the video, but yeah, I mean, I'm using the lighting from the window. I think that's the one. Because I mean, if you watch some other YouTubers, man, they got them all, okay? They have a fancy 4K camera with the lighting setup. Yeah. We're not it, okay? We're not it. All right, hold on. <clears throat> okay, we got the Peters on this morning. And the Peters say, I see other channels copying your ridiculous shot. You know what? The thing is, I mean, if it works, you know, it works. Okay, we got the Jesse say, Je Jesse say, 10K coffee bar and $100 camera. Yes, pretty much. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. Okay. All right. Yep, you are absolutely. <clears throat> yep, and the Peter, yep. Again. 10K, yes, the, uh, not, not here though. My, uh, my coffee, it's not even coffee cave, more like coffee, coffee desk at the, my shop. <clears throat> so I did the math on it. I think I have about $10,000 worth of coffee equipment there. But my camera stinks. And then, no, it's not even camera, okay? So I'm using the, finally I upgrade my iPhone, okay? Okay, but it's the connection I have at the shop. It's about, I'm using the Cox at the computer shop. Is it because as you guys know, some of you, I own a computer shop and I have Cox. I pay pretty good money for it. But my area, the infrastructure is so old, it's not consistent, okay? It's not stream. Streaming is, especially uh, upload speed, you cannot have any lag, okay? If not, you're gonna have a bad quality video. And seems like last year or so, it's been very a lot of lag. So I've been using my regular. I have I have a 5G on my phone. The problem with the 5G, if you have a good connection, is amazing. Because I'm surrounded by the, all the offices and business center. Mate, I got a like 50 upload speed and they go down to maybe one in a matter of seconds. So it's not consistent either. So uh, I think my plan is hopefully, I'm gonna be relocating my shop, hopefully within a year or so. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna have a better connection there. Ideally fiber, I, I love to get a fiber. I don't have to deal with the, the connection issues, but we'll see how it goes. All right. What else is new from you guys? Uh, there's no Google Fiber in Arizona. Okay, nice. Definitely not in Tucson. Okay. Okay, hold on a second here. Yep. Carlos say I should, you know, I could open up my coffee equipment store. All right. Let's see, I think we are, when you'll be upgrade, okay, Peter asked me when you'll be upgrading my uh, Bravo at home. You know what, I'm not going to, okay. Uh, I think I should talk about that as well, uh, because if you have Bravo at home, okay, if, if you are the only person using it, you know, if you have time to play with the grinders and, you know, and coffee machine, sure. But if you have family, all my family use this coffee machine. My wife uses it, my boys use it, you know, because I do not want to put expensive dual boiler machine at home. Uh, yeah, they're gonna mess, they're gonna mess it up, okay? They're, gonna, they're really gonna mess it up, so. Yeah, I don't want to. So, I mean, that machine is kind of like a free machine. I don't have to worry about scratching it, you know, you just keep using it. Only thing I gotta do is just clean it, okay? Every couple of months or so, all right? Uh, makes good coffee. It's gonna make amazing coffee, no. But man, it does the job, okay? It does the job. So I'm not upgrading my 
yep, for the machine anytime soon. But you know, I'm going to be, but once my family are trained on, you know, they're getting used to the making coffee machine, maybe down the road, but yeah, not anytime soon there. Anyway, I think we are good. I think, uh, so let's see, rest of the day, we're going to have some, I got one live schedule, live interview schedule uh, sometime this morning, kind of like late morning, okay? We're going to have some live, the guest. I'm not going to say who that is because you have no idea what, you know, what happens at the last minute. So I got, the, and also I got one set up today. I got one set up on Friday. And hopefully we're going to have, you know, I'm going to have a regular guest comes in. So instead of I'm talking about the products, right? So I like to have the actual inventor on this channel, like, uh, like uh, the other morning. We got Johnny from Icosa, okay? And uh, he made, uh, uh, he invent, you know, he designed this cup, the sensory cup. So instead of I'm talking about it, have us, uh, have him exp uh, explain to us that product. So I'm planning on doing that more often. You know, I'm planning on doing that more, uh, coming, uh, coming days and coming weeks. And also we're going to do some advent, <coughs> excuse me, advent calendar as well. I got advent calendar from 19 gram and also I'm getting the advent calendar from Onyx, uh, hopefully soon. So we're going to do some advent calendar event. Did I say event? Kind of like the brew session. And we got a lot of fun uh, stuff planned for you guys uh, coming weeks. Should be a lot of fun. Okay, should be a lot of fun. All right, I'm gonna check uh, one last time. Hold on, Carlos has problem. Hold on a second. Carlos has problem with Express. Okay. When your family, entire family drinks, oh man, 25 people. Carlos, that is a lot of coffee. Okay, yeah. If you're making more than five every day, yeah, you want something Better coffee machine. Okay. Yeah, 25 cups on Brick's Express is a little pushing it. All right. Especially if, uh, someone, uh, if someone wants to have some latte as well. Yeah, that's a lot of work. 25 cups. Goodness. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Wednesday morning, and uh, I'm going to see you guys soon.